Growing vegetables in Central Florida is very challenging. Central Florida is nestled right into, well, Central Florida. Let's take a look at what's in the garden. In the next few slides, we're going to see okra, eggplant, jalapenos, morning glories, chard, lettuce, cucumber, cannellini beans, and tomatoes. Okra is easy to grow in Central Florida. It grows in the heat, and it's not very susceptible to insect infestations and caterpillars. Eggplant is also easy to grow in Central Florida. It can tolerate the heat, and very few insects seem to attack it. It also makes very beautiful flowers prior to starting to make its eggplant fruit. Jalapenos do not like this kind of heat. They get very annoyed at it. You can see this clearly. Like, look at these leaves. They're burned. That's what happens to peppers when you grow them in Central Florida. On either side of this little play area I've built, you'll see morning glories. Morning glories, glories have very big heart-shaped leaves and they will eventually produce some very beautiful trumpet-like flowers. In this case, these will be white, purple, and blue. This is some of my chard. Now, the red leaf, or the little stuff with the red on the leaves, that's the chard. This front image is lettuce. You find out very quickly that lettuce gets very bitter unless you pick it very young. At least this variety of lettuce here in the front of this image. Now this is the uh, beautiful blooms of Mediterranean cucumber. Cucumbers are easy to grow, very vigorous. However, in Florida, everything likes to tunnel into cucumbers. Any of the vining plants are attacked readily by caterpillars, particularly in the summer. This is a better crop to grow in Florida in the cool weather. These are cannellini beans a type of Italian navy bean. Uh, challenging to grow. It hates being overwatered, and if it floods, it starts to kill the plant. Uh, beans need to dry out completely between waterings, and sometimes that's impossible in Florida. Tomatoes are also challenging to grow in Florida. And although Florida is one of the primary states that our tomatoes come out of in the come from in the United States. It's not a native plant here by any means and it's extremely challenging to grow. The heat is terrorizes them and they're very susceptible to green caterpillar infestations or the green tobacco worm. So make sure now you use the teacher template and then fill in the blank on the title slides and see if you can identify the plants.